hey welcome back so remember the first video we generated the access token if you didn't see just go and take a look at it so we are going to the next step and the next step is here you can just here you see we generated the access token so the next step is let's see the next step is uh, ipn url registration now this is where it becomes complicated in pesapal api and people most people don't understand this so uh, you can see ipn stands for instant payment notification in other words these are like uh instant payment notification is like a callback in mpesa api if you see you have seen my mpi uh my mpesa api tutorial it's like a callback so in simple words this instant payment notification these are the notification that you will get once any transaction is delivered there so for us we will register an ipn endpoint where we will receive all the notification and if the payment has been cancelled if the payment is still going on so that's where we will receive all the payment information there so in order to do this you will uh, you will need this url for sandbox you will use this and then for production you will use also this so when you consume the api you will need to, you will get this these are the sample requests you will uh, uh the request will send the i uh the id which will be the url that you are uh, you expect to receive the data there then the uh, uh you will receive also the uh, you will write here the ip ipn notification type which for us we will just use get as we have been provided so this is the response that you will get once it is uh, done so uh we can see from here i have done here register ipn so in order to get the registered ipn so this is what you should do you should just come here and uh, here these are the notification the url that i'm going to do let me just do this let me copy this then come here and write here an ipn ipn url then i will write it as that here so let me put it there then i will come here and do this so this is the ipn url then i will just come here and do like that then i will create a file this file is the one that will receive it here so here so you remember that the ipn url is should be on an active domain for here i've used ng rock let me turn it on so that you can see uh, let me use ng rock but you can use an active uh, domain if you have one so i'll write ng rock ng rock then http then put eight because i'm using zamp so it will provide me all here with a url where i can use it to send it there so let me just come here and replace it there so let's see first if our ng rock is working perfectly so just come here and do this just come here first then uh, create php then echo uh, this uh, this is the ipn url point so let me close it there we have an error because i didn't put here the quotation mark so it will echo this so let me test if our our ipn url is working perfectly or oh, using the ng rock so when i reload it like that you can see it's echoing that so this is where the information will be sent so let me first change here and write here like uh t t then there so i will show you in the next video on how you can get the uh the transaction url uh, the uh, notification from here but for now this is okay so the next thing here you can see that the url is this so if you put the url like that then we can just replace it there then i will use i will just use here uh, get let me use get here first then i will show you on how where you will use post but you can see from there we have the uh this is the url then you can just come here and echo that let me echo let me echo that when i echo that and then come here at uh, here at our test let me remove this access token so remember that even when registering the url you need to include
include the access token this file here so including the access token you just do this include because you need the access token in order to carry out this in order to carry out this api so let me do that then i will just come and copy this control a control c then i'll just come here and paste that when i paste that so it will access this variable here the access token i don't need to echo it back I'll just do that then copy this access token then come here at ipn so here i will access the access token by here so let's register the ipn url and let's echo this echo ipn url let me reload so i register ipn so you can see there when you register ipn so you can see we have registered an ipn so when you get this it means you have registered this url as your ipn so the next thing that you are going to do you are going to do this you are going to get just uh, this uh, ipn id then uh, the, the other thing that you will get you will get this ipn url but it's not important but you will, you will just get this ipn id so getting the ipn id you will just do this you will come here and decode the json data then get the ipn id don't think if we need this url but the IPA ID is what we need. So let's echo the IPA ID so that we can see. Let me format this so that it can look good. Then remove this echo here. Then save it like that. So when I come here and reload, I will get only the IPN ID, which is the one that I need to proceed to the next. So here you can see I have the IPN ID. But here I've also created something that is called registered ID. When you see here, when you see here, here, you can just click next. You can click next. They will show you on how you can get all the registered IPN URL by via API. So if you want to view all the registered uh, IPN URL, you can just use here. So this is what you need in order to get the IPN URL to see all, all the URL that have been registered as your APN. So all URL that are getting the notification. So from here you can see this is how you can get. You can just use get here. Then you will just use your access token in order to get that. So for, for me, I've already done it for you. Here getting registered URL, what we'll just need will include this uh, access token here from this re getting registered IPN URL so when we do that here it will access the access token variable here by this so we'll just echo that then when we echo it will show you as all the registered IPN that are registered with our application or your application so when you reload uh, then you just click registered IPNs so when you see let it load it has shown all the registered ipn so the last one that we have done is this one so you can see this is the so the first one is this this is the first one then the second one that i registered is starting that so let me see this is the last one the last one that we registered starts from here to here so this is the registered APN and when I open it in another folder, you can see it's the same URL. So we have gotten all the registered IPN. So that's how you can register an IPN. This is how you can register an IPN and get all registered IPN endpoints. And remember that IPNs are just like callback URL. Instead of setting them from the API, you just register the IPN then the next you will receive all the notifications so see in the next video where i'm going to show you uh, we're going to proceed on consuming the pesapal api